Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Kolev and I want to show you this amazing deck. So I recently started getting right back into the game. I've been playing a lot of uh, Battlegrounds actually lately and a, a good amount of COD. And I started getting back into this game about maybe a couple days ago and I really started grinding with this deck that I made. I call it the Big Boy Zar deck. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I pretty much went from around like 12 to 35, like undefeated. I think I lost maybe one game. Um, but this deck is absolutely insane. It revolves around really three primary cards, which is Kazar, Blue Marvel, and Onslaught. Uh, but these other cards are also very crucial to making them work, right? So we got Ant-Man, one cost card. He's important for Kazar. All uh, your one cost cards here are going to be very important. Uh, you want to have at least four. You want to be able to maximize the benefit of Kazar the most that you can. And I think four is a good amount to where you're not, you don't have too many one one cost where you're able to get enough power actually on the board so ant-man really good if you're able to fill up location get that bonus three Korg just a really annoying card and just a good one cost in general and again he's gonna get that buff from kazar nightcrawler obviously most people know what this card is by now you're able to move him around uh this guy again no idea how to say his name so if you do know how to say his name explain it or some or something in the comments because i have no idea how to say this guy's name medusa really good if you're able to play her middle get that bonus two power mr fantastic just another really good three cost card to be able to spread some power out uh, throughout the board just in case you're not able to play cards in one location because this deck kind of primarily revolves around just winning two locations uh and or bluffing a third location that uh, kind of making it look like you're going to go for that location when you really just hone in on two other locations punisher um i've been trying to experiment with this uh with this position specifically i don't you could really use almost any other three card uh three cost card uh i'm still kind of in the testing phase of what i really want here and what i think makes the most sense for this deck this is just what i have for now uh, captain america definitely a very crucial card uh, generally you want to put this with your one cost to get that bon that bonus buff if you really need to win a location uh and your other cards are already winning um, then you would put him with Kazar, Blue Marvel, Blue Marvel, and Onslaught. So Kazar is going to be the next card. Buffs all of your one cost cards plus one power. Blue Marvel a step better. Just buffs all of your cards plus one power. And of course Onslaught is going to double both of those. So uh, the idea is to play Kazar, Blue Marvel, and Onslaught together. That way you get plus one, plus one, and then plus two to all of your cards uh, essentially, right? I mean, plus two for all your one cost, plus two to all your cards. And then obviously Onslaught himself is pretty beefy at seven um, power. America Chavez is just going to be a really good card in case you don't get the Onslaught pull, which sometimes happens. You are able to put a good amount of power out with American Chavez and at least guarantee that on the sixth turn. All right, so for our first game, we got GOAT uh draw a card so we went ahead and drew that kazar which was actually pretty huge um we're gonna go ahead and play ant-man middle uh, we don't really know what those locations are we don't have our u card I don't know how to say that guy's name uh he doesn't play a card which could be advantageous ongoing effects are doubled so that's gonna be pretty huge we're gonna primarily uh put our onslaught um blue marvel cards here we can't really play Medusa there, so um, I think we're just going to go ahead and just play her as far as power is concerned. First to fill this draws a six card cost card for zero. So we're going to go ahead and just play there since we do know that. Um, so we are going to play... Our Punisher here because again we want to fill this up. All right, got multiple man. Nice. So we're just going to fill this up with. Do um, we can do something? Do something like this. We don't have our. Um, yeah, this would probably be beneficial do it like this we don't have our blue marvel so we're gonna have to definitely audible we're gonna have to go kazar and onslaught right there um this is gonna definitely be the play that we go for we got our zero cost leader we can throw him to our far uh left avengers assemble 
just like this. They are Khazar and or yeah, just like Khazar there. And then we're going to go ahead and put Nightcrawler here. We can snap because we're relatively confident that we're gonna win this. So let's go and kind of see what he gets from that. He could retreat. Uh, he could know that we kind of are in a pretty good setup since we did get that zero cost six card. Go. We went ahead and put a cloak down there. Got the benefit from Kazar there. All right, now finally, just to go ahead and finish it up, we put Onslaught here and reap benefits just to make sure we snap there because we're most likely going to win this one um but just in case he is thinking pretty hard um i don't really see any way that he can actually win this game um even a blue marvel would not help him win right side since we're about to double uh, onslaught so we're gonna kazar and we got at least one card there to be able to reap that benefit so I don't think uh, that he's going to win with a blue marvel. We are also winning par left side since we got that six card cost. Uh, a lot of the time it is advantageous to go for the fill. Just make sure you're filling smartly. You know, like we still have a lot of power here. We didn't just throw all the one cards that are weak. Uh, we did it in a way that allowed us to still gain a lot of power while filling up aside to get that six card cost you do have to be mindful of that whenever you're doing this we went ahead and moved some cards it doesn't really matter too much huge buff right here and uh that's pretty much just gonna give us the dub he's gonna odin but the odin isn't going to be a i am unfortunately I am. for him to be able to win this game Diddy Dan um, when a card moves here destroy it all right so we could just play Nightcrawler here that way we still have the option to move to move across the entire board uh, which that's pretty important with Nightcrawler doesn't play a card be good for us we'll see cards that cost four five and six can't be played here so this might be where we end up moving Nightcrawler so we're definitely going to play Korg there. He still doesn't play a card. This could be really bad for him, uh, potentially. Uh, cards can't be destroyed here. That's fine. Um, we're simply just going to play Mr. Fantastic right there in the middle. We have our two... We Really, we have our three key cards here. So um, that's going to be pretty massive. He still hasn't played a card yet. Um, I almost want to snap on this, honestly, but I don't want to run him off yet. Uh, the whole point is, right, to get the most cues as you can, kind of grind up the ladder. So we're not going to snap yet. We're going to kind of see what he's doing and then kind of go from there. Really. I think that he definitely has to play a card here if he wants to have any chance of winning this game. Maybe he has a card that I don't know the ability of and it requires him to do that. I don't know. Maybe he left. He doesn't look like he's playing. Yeah, well, he skipped a turn. Right? So now we just go... Star. Could have a Killmonger. Definitely possible he plays Killmonger, kills some of my cards. Victory. And he just leaves. That's how you do it. All right, guys, and really quick, if you are enjoying this video, please leave me a like down below and a sub will be very much appreciated. Really helps my channel grow and really get out there with the YouTube algorithm so that other people can also discover my videos. Thank you so much. If you do that, let's get right back into it. Uh, whoever's winning this location gets plus three power at others. Now the key is going to be to go for this location. We're not going to put our one cost there. Uh, since we do have him, we're able to check these other ones to give each card here plus one power after each turn and then turns into location four so we're definitely going to put that there this location is really good for the low cost cards because you're able to put them out very quickly and they're already able to get this plus one benefit 
we're going to go ahead and put him as well. This one we're not really going to care about too much because, again, we're going to put our stronger cards on this left side. All right, to sort of ensure that we win this side, we're actually just going to put Captain America here uh, so that it will buff our Onslaught Blue Marvel and hopefully our uh, Kazar. Avengers! Assemble. All right, so he's pushing middle relatively hard. All right, so we got that benefit from the right side. We did get our Kazar as well, so we're going to go ahead and play him buff these boys up relatively nicely this essentially still didn't really matter because we're still going to be playing the cards in a similar order if we happen to pull another one cost card that would be pretty sick because then we'll be able to play them right here uh but for the most part that's why i kind of disregarded this location got our blue marvel he went ahead and placed a card as well. I think he's trying to win this location too. Neville Dinosaur will definitely be a pretty beefy boy. Um, it's going to be relatively difficult now uh, as far as what we're going to do here. Now we could play our Nightcrawler on this side, possibly win this location. It may be the best choice because we almost most likely are guaranteed to not win this location right now. I think what we do is go Nightcrawler here, go ahead and put Onslaught there. This will give us pretty much the maximum chance of even winning this game right now. Um, let's go ahead and see. The ideal thing is that he pushes middle. He most likely will put another card on the left side to solidify. He ends up retreating. He probably didn't have anything uh, else to really maximize uh, his left side and again guys we get the dub this this deck is absolutely insane it's really awesome there's so many different ways you you can play it but you, the way that you play it really depends on the locations you get feel free to try this deck out for yourselves guys it's it's really solid again these are pretty early cards that you get most people will have these cards the big boy zard deck is it's undefeated, man. It's a, it's a really awesome deck. If y'all enjoyed this video, please leave me a like down below and a sub would be very much appreciated. Guys, love y'all. Have a good one.